Welcome to Panama. I arrived here last night and head straight to the rainforest and climb this canopy tower this morning. We're about 100 feet up, right at the top of the canopy of the rainforest in Subarania National Park. There are insects buzzing, birds chirping, and there are monkeys howling all around me. Howler monkeys are some of the loudest animals on Earth. Their call can travel up to three miles, and when you hear it, you know that it's about to rain. The rainy season is such an exciting time to be in the tropics, because everything comes to life. In Panama, it begins in April and ends in December, and it rains at least once a day. When it does rain, it pours. The rain turns to streams that turn into rivers and waterfalls, and it feeds the rainforest. There are flowers everywhere, creatures come out like these tree frogs, which you can usually hear at night, which are so colorful, and these leaf litter toads hiding down in the dead leaves on the rainforest floor. You also get things like this Ferdelant snake, which is the deadliest snake in Panama. Pretty scary, actually. There's a lot of dangerous animals in the rainforest, like crocodiles. There's also a lot of fun things. I think my favorite animals are the leafcutter ants. And here they're actually cut flowers from the dipteryx tree, which is related to the pea plant. And they're carrying them on these big ant highways across the rainforest. I find the plants in the rainforest just as exciting as the animals. Everything is just giant, like this kapok tree, which grows over 150 feet high. Altitude is the main challenge of visiting the rainforest, because you have life at every level. You have to get down in the dirt and look closely, and you have to get up really high, like the top of the canopy looking down, and you can see how dense and thick it all is. Panama is such a narrow country. It only takes a few minutes to fly from the Caribbean coast here across the jungle and the mountains to the Pacific coast and the capital, Panama City. About one and a half million people live here, about a third of the country, and there's so much going on. The Panama Canal is the mainstay of the country's economy. About 15,000 ships pass through here every year, and it's amazing to stand on the shoreline and to watch as oil tankers and gigantic cargo ships, ocean-going vessels, navigate these tropical inland waterways. In the wake of these larger ships in the big cities, there's a slower way of life. I head out on the Chagres River and visited San Antonio, a tiny and very remote Wunan Indian village of just 48 people. Visiting places like this just changes you, it reminds you that we all come from a more primitive existence and that humans don't need that much to get by. I peeked into this kitchen where somebody was boiling a cup of tea realize that there are people today in the 21st century who live such a different lifestyle than we do. It was a lot of fun to get to meet the villagers, to see what they did, and to see the similarities between their life and mine. <laughs> Panama is a young nation. Even though people have been living here for thousands of years, there's a long colonial history. First the Spanish, then the Colombians, and then the Americans. But the final result is a world-class city. And right outside it, the rainforest filled with wildlife. I spent my last morning in Panama enjoying these Joffrey's tamarinds, which are some of the smallest monkeys in Central America. And that's what I love about Panama. Nature is everywhere.